Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Okay, I'm trying to do a no spend January. So it's looking in your cupboards, in your drawers, if you keep your sachets in there and your freezer. So it's a good way to see what's out of date or is going out of date. So it's a good time to use them up. So I've just been through my drawers in the kitchen and I've gone through them and then all of these are either out of date or just going out of date. So I'm going to use these up at some point in the near future. And then I came across these, which is like a bolognese sauce that you get in jars. I bought these because they were 25p, but they need using up now. So they are out of date, so I'm going to open them, smell it and have a little taste test. And if it's okay, I'm going to use them. Now, instead of doing a spaghetti bolognese or something like that, I thought about doing a soup, actually, because I've had lasagna now for two nights on the trot. So I thought, let's do a soup, like a pasta lentil soup with no meat. <laughs> now, my favourite saying is, I've never done this before, which is true. I've not done this before. I've not done a bolognese soup. So let's give it a go. Anything goes for a soup, anything that's in your fridge that you want to use. So I've got two little onions, I've got one celery, one pepper, some garlic, a chilli. I might not put all the chilli in, I don't know how hot this one is. Some mixed herbs and oregano. Now there wasn't any carrots in the shop the other day so I had to open this. The rest of the jar is in the kitchen. But I couldn't fit this in, so I'm going to rehydrate these carrots so I can have the jar back. Some mushrooms, which are dehydrated. You can obviously use fresh. So in my soup, I'm going to put some pasta, any pasta that you've got. And I'm going to put some red lentils in as well. I hardly use my lentils, so I'm going to start using them. It's going to be a soup. So we're going to have a lots of liquid, so we'll put an oxo cube in as well. I'll put a tin of chopped tomatoes in, and I might just use one or two of these packets, I'm not sure yet. If you've got a jar, just use a whole jar. Now making a soup might be an idea if you don't have a lot of pasta to go around for everybody. So you could make the soup with pasta, with lentils, or with both so I'm gonna do both now I did these carrots September 2018 put them in a sealed jar and they were great I used them the other day okay so let's just put some water in now I could put these in with the pasta and they'll rehydrate there but I'd like to fry the mushrooms off I think so that's what we'll do. We'll rehydrate them and fry them off. And then the carrot, I'll see how big they rehydrate. And I just might slice them into halves. Because I don't want big bits of carrot in my soup. So I'll just put a plate over these. Put a bit more water in there. And then I'll come back to them. We won't waste the water. We'll put that in the soup. I've got about half a little mug of the red lentils so I'm just going to wash them until the water goes clear now with red and yellow lentils you don't need to pre-soak so if I find I need to put some more in the soup I'll just wash a handful more and then put them in the soup I've just got my pasta on at the minute now as I said I had pasta last night some lasagna so I'm not going to put that much pasta in it's going to be more lentils. It's only been about 15 minutes, but I'd say my mushrooms are done. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put them in the pan with no oil, just so they can dry out a bit with the heat. And then after about five minutes, when most of the moisture has been taken out, I'll add the oil. 
and we'll fry these up first I think and we'll give it a taste test just in case I want to do like an omelette or something in the future okay these have been in a couple of minutes I put some salt and pepper in now I wouldn't normally do that now but I want to try the mushrooms for future use Yeah, they're good. I mean, nothing's ever as nice as what it would be fresh. But if you didn't have any mushrooms and you wanted to fry some up with some spam or something, they'd be fine. In a scenario and you can't get to the shops, it's the next best thing, I'd say. Okay, so let's crack on with this soup. We put some oregano in and some mixed herbs. I'm gonna put my onion, celery, and pepper in now. Sorry, life's not good, is it? I should do my cooking in the daytime. The chilli and the garlic now. One tin of chopped tomatoes. I've got a pint of vegetable stock and I've got the mushroom water in there as well. The bolognese has gone in already so let's do this. Now I might need more water as it's going to be a soup. which I think I probably will. Here's another pint of water and a vegetable cube going in. I'm going to put my red lentils in now. The red lentils have gone in. So we'll put the pasta in now. I didn't cook the pasta fully, but you know what? I could have just put it straight in the soup because there's enough liquid. I'm just going to take a look at my carrots now. I'm just going to chop these up just a little bit so they're not too big for soup. Now you could just put them in as they are if you wanted to. The carrots are in now. I would say that was about two, possibly three carrots. Don't forget, this is a soup. It's not a bolognese or a stew. I'm just going to turn it down now and give it about ten minutes. You can have any month as, as a no-spend month. So you can buy your, your milk, eggs, butter, bread. But it's just a way of seeing what's in your cupboards. What's going out of date. What have you bought new that you've not tried. Just in case you don't like it, no point in buying any more. Can't see the lentils. It's going to be a chunky soup. I'm not going to blend it. I'm just going to wash a few more lentils. I think I should have probably put a cup in. But we can do that now. Here's the soup. I put a big squirt of tomato puree in as well. Now the mushrooms have gone big. Now if you wanted to, you could put some sausage in this, some tinned ham, or even some mince. So let's give it a taste test. Oh yeah, that's really nice. I think the lentils could have done with a bit longer because I did put some more in at the end. Yeah, this is really nice. Just an idea for you. If you've only got a bit of pasta in your cupboard and some lentils, make yourself a nice thick soup. Let's try a carrot. That's actually still crunching. Thanks for watching. God bless everyone. Stay safe.